So I'm going to be getting ready for my birthday. Really getting ready for my birthday photo shoot. So first thing we're going to do, y'all, okay. I got a new 613, which if you know last year for my birthday, this is the same vendor that I got from last year. I just got it longer. I got 32 inches, 13 by six still. So yeah, so basically I'm going to shade of blonde. So I'm going to show you guys all the parts that I have. I might not use everything, but I'm going to show you everything that I have. So y'all mama told me, she came and got Logan and was like, take a nap, you need a nap. Cause I told her I was sleepy. And what am I doing? Everything but taking a nap. Matter of fact, hold on y'all, let me get my new lens. I got a new lens, so hopefully y'all can see more. So I'm gonna go get it. Okay, so I got the lens on now, I'm gonna tilt it. Okay, got the lens on. So things that I have. The thought process that I have right now for the color, first thing I'm gonna do is tone it with a purple shampoo, like water bath. This is what I'm gonna use. It's the Biolage, however you pronounce it, Biolage, I don't know. Colorless purple shampoo, North, uh, neutralizes brass in yellow. I also have three different things from Wella. I have T18, a little bit of T18 toner. I have T35, and I also picked up Color Touch Rich Naturals. It's 881. So basically, so I got a toner in light blonde pearl ash. I got one in lightest lightest ash blonde, and I also have one in beige blonde. Then I also have these blonde color things right here, which is medium ash blonde. So again, let me tell you what the but the, the mind process is. This is the way. She's yellow. I want to turn her a icy blonde, but not silver icy blonde. So that's why, like I said, I'm gonna do the first this just to tone it. So when I put the other stuff on it, it's just you know it's giving dimension. It's giving you know what I'm saying all that good stuff. T18 gives you ice like silver, but I don't want that. So I really like. I don't even have a a full bottle, as you can see. It's just well you can't really see, but not even a full bottle that's why I'm going to mix this with this because I kind of like what it looks like and then I'm also gonna mix it with this just to make sure I have enough to cover the entire wig so once I do these and mix together and put it on the wig if I don't like it I'm going to tone it with this because as you can see from blonde it go it'll tone it from like the yellow blonde to like Put a little ice cast on it. I guess not even ice, that ash over it. So we're just gonna go for it. You feel me? And if I don't like it in the end, I'm gonna sell it. So let's just go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm gonna do is do the purple shampoo wash. I'm in my kitchen. I'm just gonna use hot hot water from the, the sink to do this.
Okay, you guys, so there go Logan running around. But this is what she's looking like under. Oh, I thought this was off. So this is how she's looking under regular lighting. Just my living room lights. It's very much, it's very ashy, very icy, which is what I wanted. So we're just gonna see once she's styled and we're ready to install. Let's see what the light is. See how icy she is? So yeah, it's 30 inches. And I just blew her out. So next will be straightening, hot combing, plucking, which it looks good. It's just to be pull up because it's just uniform. But yeah, we're doing the middle part straight. That's why I blew it out. I had um let it dry. Then I straight, I mean I blow dried it as straight as possible so that I can really silk it out. Y'all here look like, come on now, sir. But, but yeah, so first part down. This thing is so loose on me. Okay. But yeah, so we're gonna see. I just glad, uh, I'm just glad that it like came out one tone, one color. It's not blotchy anywhere. Like I really took my time and worked. So yeah. So I'll come back when I'm ready to do probably the install. I probably won't straighten it on camera. Probably just when I'm ready to install it and stuff. So we'll be back. All right, y'all. Don't y'all see the wig? Don't let it what I look like, but I'm gonna let you guys see the wig. So I just got done hot combing her and stuff. That's what she looking like. I'm about to put her on, so. I'm gonna let you guys see my first reaction. See if I like it. I feel like the look is coming together. Y'all gonna be like, ooh, this is new. Come on. Cause y'all, I don't really get like, I don't do this stuff like that, y'all. All right. I'm gonna tighten up the straps first. Okay. Okay. I think she's gonna eat. She's real thick. So I'm really about to see. Yeah, she's gonna be really cute. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm about to just like really make sure that the middle part is in the middle. I did that. And the color is like so even, it's not splotchy at all. Of course, cause I added like heat. Some of the pieces are like changing color a little bit. That's just the light though. Like, you can see it's just the light, but it's also from the hot comb. So probably when I flat iron everything, you'll see. But yeah, catching you guys by storm. I'm also debating if I want to straighten and wear it straight or if I want to curl it. I think I'm going to straighten it, see how it looks straight, and then go from there. 